In this video, we are going to see how to create contact in Wix from new Facebook lead ads. So every time a new lead has been received through Facebook lead ads, what you want with the information received, you want to create a contact in Wix, which is a website builder platform. Now, how can that be done? For this, again, you will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. So here your trigger application will be Facebook lead ads and your action application will be Wix. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. Now, to begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL publiccom slash connect. And here we have reached a landing page. Now on the right hand side, we have options sign in and sign up for free. So since I'm an existing user, I'm going to click on sign in. And as I do that, we have reached all applications page. So these are the various applications of Pabli. I'm going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. Now as we do that, we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now what is my objective here? Every time I receive a new Facebook lead, then with the details that I have received, I should be able to create a contact in Wix. And Wix is a free user friendly website building platform. So I'm going to name it as create contact in Wix from new Facebook lead ads. Let's click on create. So as we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application will be Facebook lead ads. And the trigger event here would be new lead instant. So now I'm going to click on connect and here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Facebook lead ads account. So I'm going to select add new connection. I have already logged into my Facebook account. I'm going to click on connect with Facebook lead ads. So here you can see that the authorization has been successful, which basically means that Pabli Connect is now connected with FB lead ads. Now here we have to mention the page and the lead generation form. For this, I'm going to take you to Meta for developers page. Let's go to my applications and here I'm going to take you to tools. So let's go down here. We have lead ads debug tool. Let's click on this. Now here we have to select the page. So let's say that I am going to select Pabli Connect page. So here I'm going to look for Pabli Connect. So this is the page that I was looking for and here this is the preview form. So I'm going to click on this preview form. So this here is the form that we have received. So now I'm going to take you first back to Pabli Connect. So here it is asking me to fill in the page. So here I'm going to look for Pabli Connect. Here it is. And you can here see that since there was only one lead generation form in there. So it has already been captured by the system. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as I do that, here it is asking me to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So now I'm going to fill up this form. So let's say the first name here is new. The last name is user123. Then we have the email address which is new user123 at pablitudes.com. And then we have the gender. Let's say it is male. And then we have the phone number. It is one. Okay, now I'm going to click on next submit and yes here it is saying that our response has been submitted so i'm taking you back to public connect to see if we have received the response here and yes here you can see that we have received the response this is the first name last name email address gender phone number this here is the created time so once we have received this information what is my objective i want to create a contact in wix so i'm going to choose my action application here as wix let's click on this now the action event here would be to create contact. Let's click on connect. So here Pavli Connect is asking to connect itself with a Wix account. For this, I'm going to click on add new connection, then connect with Wix. Now here to set up this connection, we need the application ID and the secret ID. And this we have to receive from Wix developer application. So it is very well explained here how you have to do this. So let me show you the same. So as I click on this hyperlink here and I scroll down. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in to Wix developer center. So I click on this hyperlink and now let's click on start now. 
So as we do that, first of all, I need to create a new application. So I'm going to click on this. And as I do that here, you can see this is the name of my application, my new application five. Now what we have to do is we have to go to auth and here we have the application ID and the application secret key. Now it is also mentioned here as I scroll down that here in the URL redirect URL, we have to copy this. So I'm going to copy this link address, go back here and here I'm going to paste this. Once done, here we have to enter the application URL. So I'm just going to enter my website's URL. With, okay, so you can enter your own application URL. So once this is done, let's click on save. So here we can see that my changes have been successfully saved. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to copy this application ID and paste this over here. And then we have the secret key. So I'm going to copy the secret key and paste this over here. Okay, now there's one more thing that we have to do. We have to go to permissions. So it is again explained here that the next thing that we have to do is we have to go to permissions and here we have to provide the following permissions. So I'm going to take you back here and here you can see Wix developers. So this has been added. I'm going to click on add permissions and we are going to go to contacts and members and here I'm going to go down manage members and contacts all permissions. Let's click on save. Okay, then I'm going to click on add permissions and this time I'm going to go down for coupons and let's click on manage coupons, click on save. And then the last one that has been mentioned here. So we have Wix stores. So I'm going to add permissions here. This is Wix stores and we are going to go to product so manage products let's click on save now the api categories that i have selected here so we could only go for contacts and members and wix developers as well now i'm going to take you back to public connect and i'm going to click on save here so as i do that here it is asking me for the access i'm going to click on agree and add so here we can see that this authorization has been successful now we are going to map this information. How do we do that? So as I click on this, so we can see the previous step. I'm going to go to first name. So we can see that the first name has been added here. Now the method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. And this is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Now I'm going to do the same thing for last name. So once this is done, the line item email tag. So here you can say it is work email. Then again, the email address. So let's go to step one. This here is the email address. Now the phone tag. So again, I'm going to add work. And here we have to enter the country code. So it is written that, you know, you have to enter the country code in this format. So since it is India, so I'm going to write IN. The next thing is phone number, but here it is saying that the phone number has to be added without the country code. But the response that we have received, here we have the country code. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this. How? I'm going to add another action step here. This time the application is a feature by Pabli, which is text formato. And the action event here would be split text. Let's click on connect. Now the text to split, so I'm going to map the information. This here is the phone number. Separator would be plus nine one. And I want the last segment, right? The second segment, or I can just write last. I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see we have received the information just like we want it. So I'm going to refresh this connection by selecting the existing connection. And now here I'm going to take you down and add the phone number by going to step two. This here is the phone number. Then we have the address. So if you wish, you can always add it. I'm just going to leave it blank. And uh, now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as I do that here, we can see we have received the API response, which says that the contact has been created. So taking you to Wix.com, let's go to contacts. And as we reach here, so here we can see that yes, new user 123. So with this name, email address and phone number, a contact has been created. So this basically means that our integration is a success, but we also need to check the same in real time. I'm going to take you back to the form and here I'm going to first delete the previous lead. And remember, once you have deleted the lead, you have to refresh the page. So once this is done, I'm going to check for the page once again. So let's look for 
Pabli connect so here it is now let's click on preview form so here is the form now I'm going to fill it up so let's say the first name here is dummy then the last name is user then we have the email address which is dummy user12 at pablitudes.com then we have the gender let's say it is female and then we have the mobile number which is now I'm going to click on next let's click on submit and yes now the moment the submission is done what should happen with the information a contact should be created in Wix so I'm going to take you to Wix now and quickly refresh this page and here you can see that yes dummy user has been created so this basically means that our integration is a complete success now I'm going to take you back to Pabli connect to understand what we have done so this is an extremely easy two-step integration process where the trigger application is Facebook lead ads the event here is new lead instant then our action application was Wix where we had to create a contact in between we had chosen a feature by Pabli which was text formatter to split the text so I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.